Hey, this is John at Rocket Repairs here. We are doing a S3 mic replacement. I uh, recently had a request for this. Uh, promised it over the weekend. Sorry about the delay. It's Tuesday here, so I uh, just went ahead and get this up. Um, please excuse this damaged area right here. Um, this is not what your battery connector should look like. Uh, this is a damaged board. However, I will show you exactly how to replace the microphone. We replace the microphone all the time. Uh, many times when you actually replace the port here, um, if you get flux around this area, if it gets any kind of liquid in there, um, you know, it, it just pretty much ruins the mic. Um, so basically, I'm just going to show you how to take this mic off, and we're going to put a new mic on, and uh, that'll be it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first, I'm going to take my Capcom tape. See it underneath here. I'm going to wrap that around the board. Cover up some vital areas. I don't want all these other chips and resistors to get heated up. So I'm going to start by doing this. Just making a wrap around there. And do a little bit of a wrap on this side also. here. Sorry. This isn't the prettiest one I've ever done. <laughs> All right, and I'll put one more across there. Okay. So you can kind of see pretty much everything here. Actually, let me go get my freezer for one second. Okay, I'm back. Got my tweezers. As you can see here. Definitely need these. Um, okay, so you can see the microphone here. Um, if you're replacing the mic, um, you really don't need to worry about flux getting in it. So I like to take my flux. I use the MG Chemicals flux. Um, you can see the writing is a little worn off on this tube. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of flux and put it. Go ahead and put it around here. That'll be plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay. All right, I'm going to take my heat gun. Got my heat gun turned on now. It is warming up to uh, 470. All right, we're at 300. Slowly moving up, guys. Guys and gals. Sorry for all you female repair technicians out there. All right, we are here. We're at the temperature I need. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my blower up to about three and a half, four. Uh, I don't like turning it up too high anytime I'm doing any kind of uh, small board work. Um, you'll blow chips all over the place if you got your uh, the airspeed up high. All right, so this should be pretty quick and simple. Right, you can see it's already heating up really good. All right, you can see I've taken that one off. And uh, you can see that you just keep it on there for just a minute. It, it, it works its magic, that's for sure. It will heat right up and melt the uh, old solder. So now all I'm doing is taking, uh, I don't need to normally put more solder down. Uh, it's already there. Now I'm just taking the old... Uh, not the old, but the new, <laughs> the new microphone, and I'm gonna set it down onto the uh, board. But I like to heat the board first. That way, I can just set this thing down and go. So, 
Sorry, I'm over here outside of your vision trying to get this damn microphone on the uh, on the tweezers. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm just heating this up right now. All right. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Let's get this damn thing straight. Well, at least you can see this is real. This is how it normally goes. Seems like every time I do a video lately, it's... All the shit happens. Alright. So what I'm just going to go ahead and do is just line it up on top of here already. And kind of line it right up into where the old uh, the old one was. It's pretty much got guides on the corners. Alright, so now we're just going to heat this up a little bit again. I'm gonna, just going to take... Once I get this hot enough, I'm just going to take the head of my tweezer and kind of push down on the top of it very gently as to adhere that with the solder. And then now I'm going to let go. I'm not let go, but pull the gun away. Keep this pressed down. You can blow on it too, it helps. You can see the new port is already down, and it's as simple as that. The new port is ready to roll. You can see it right there. It's good to go. It's not going to move. Okay, I can push on the other side. It's not going to move. It's stuck there. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for viewing. Uh, if you have any other kind of repairs that you want me to do, just let me know in the messages below. I'll definitely do them for you uh, as quickly as possible. we got lots of extra devices around here for me to play with and uh, create videos for you. Take care. You have a great day.